Gales, heavy rain and thunderstorms all in the mix as we go through towards the end of Sunday and through towards the start of Monday, mainly up across those northern parts of the country. Down south, high pressure keeps things generally fine, dry and they settle for the South Island, but things are going to get pretty messy up in the far north thanks to the remnants of tropical cyclone Lola and that other feature that moved in from the Tasman Sea. That's a deep, complex area of low pressure running towards those northern parts. Wrapping around that, strong winds and also that heavy rainfall, particularly around those eastern facing coasts. As we head through in towards tomorrow for Monday, we could find some thunderstorms around those areas as well. So it is a fairly active day across those northern parts of the country. We've got warnings in place for wind and rainfall. Those warnings for places like Northland have already started to carry on through into the early hours of Monday morning. In those exposed areas around that eastern coast, we could find gusts 120, 130 kilometres an hour. We find uh, watches as well for places like Auckland. Warnings for those areas of Auckland region north of Whangaparoa. And Coromandel, a warning for you as well. And warnings as well as we head out towards the eastern coast, mainly for the rainfall there, with that rain wrapping around that low pressure again and feeding on towards those areas exposed mainly to the east, so those eastern areas of northern, down towards the Coromandel, Great Barrier Island, out towards the likes of uh, Gisborne, Tairafti, particularly those areas north of Tolaga Bay, as we head through towards Monday as well. So there is plenty going on across the, the North Island. Down south, things are looking pretty settled and fine, but it's the North Island we're really concerned with as we go through the rest of today, Sunday, and on into Monday as well. And as I was saying, places like Northland, your watches and warnings are pretty much already in force. Now, weather's just right the way through into the early hours of Monday morning. Areas like Auckland, I think we'll find those warnings and watches starting this afternoon from around about five, six o'clock up in the Auckland region. The winds are going to carry on picking up as we head through the daytime and they'll carry on through in towards tomorrow as well. While the rain does ease off for a time, there'll still be some heavy thunderstorms to watch out for as we go through Monday. Places like the Coromandel, again, you'll find your watches and mornings starting as we go through the rest of the afternoon on Sunday through to the early part of Monday. Stronger winds around the tops of the Kaimais and those eastern parts of Waikato as we head in towards the daytime tomorrow for Monday. Again, for all the information, head along to the wet service website. And for this eastern coast, the heavy rainfall feeding in as we go through towards Monday. Heaviest north of Tolaga Bay, but you can see we've got a watch out there for the rest of the Gisborne Tairafti area and also those western hills of Hawke's Bay, particularly those areas south of uh, State Highway 5. We'll find rain elsewhere, but those are the areas we're most concerned with at the moment. So what can we expect? Well, these are the kind of winds that can cause damage to things like trees and power lines and anything you've got left lying around outside. So do take extra care, especially if you're out on the roads. Those winds, particularly those cross winds, could cause, damage, uh, could cause issues to things like high-sided vehicles and also for motorcycles. And adding to that, the rainfall as well could cause some streams and rivers to rise pretty rapidly, again, especially across those eastern parts of, uh, say, Northland and the Coromandel. Rainfall totals around about 100 millimetres or so, not out of the question, so it's worth keeping an eye on those. We could find things like some slips as well on the roads. And again, just take that extra care and extra caution as you're travelling around the region over the next day or so. It's also worth saying, as this system comes in, it is going to bring with it some rather large seas, some rough conditions and some higher waves around those eastern facing coasts as well. Especially be careful around the times of high tide with that extra bit of um, energy around. It could make things just that little bit trickier as well. As always, you can find all the latest information, all the latest forecasts and all the details for your region at metservice.com.